On this video, we will be discussing your homework problems. In the first part, they want you to give the function, identify both the parent function and the transformation that is going on here. So for this first part, your parent function would be your absolute value of x and your transformations, and we do need to list those out, your transformations here, you have a vertical compression, and we know that because of the value on the outside. So a vertical compression by two thirds. And then we also have a translate um, right four. For number two, it looks like your parent function would be x cubed and then talking about your transformations. So the first part of your transformation, you would reflect across the x or y axis, and then you would be moving up seven. Our next problem, number three, your parent function here starting out would be one over x. And then your transformations that's gone on here, it looks like we have a vertical stretch by six. And you also are moving down one. Okay, number four. Again, same idea here. Our parent function is the square root of x, but then your transformations, you have quite a few here. The first transformation, you have a horizontal. Now, this is on the inside. So you have a horizontal, and this is going to be a little bit different than you would think. It's a compression because the growth rate is faster, so it's going to make your graph skinnier. So it's a horizontal compression by this reciprocal, so it's one fourth. And then we are going to move right to, and then up seven. Number five, we have our parent function is that step function, and that is new to us this year. So this parent function, notice how you make your brackets. Do make sure you put that extra line on the inside. That's your step function. And then for our transformations, again, notice that that one half is on the inside. And so this is going to slow down the growth rate. So this is going to be a horizontal um, stretch by two. Notice it is, again, the reciprocal. And then we're going to go up five. Right, number six, our parent function here is the square root of x, and then our transformations. Um, it looks like here that two, let's rewrite this to help us see that's really negative one half. If we look at that, times the square root of x. So we can see that our um, number on the outside, so for our transformations, this time we're going to have a vertical. And keep in mind, it's going to be a compression. It's going to be exactly what you would think. It's going to make it skinnier by one half. And then the negative is going to reflect over the x-axis. All right, let's look at number seven. Here, our par parent function is disguised in a lot of mess, but that parent function is x squared. And then for our transformations, again, I would start with out here, you've got that five halves, it is on the outside. So this is going to be a vertical stretch because that is larger than one of five halves. We are going to reflect over the x-axis 
and it looks like we are going to go to the right 11. Oh, not right. Sorry, that's going to be left. Oops. Left 11. Number 8, our parent function is going to be 1 over x. That's our reciprocal function. And then for our transformations, it looks like we are going to go to the, goodness, to the right 5. And then we are going to go up 9. Okay, the parent function for number 9 is your absolute value function. And then our transformations, we have a few things going on here. The first one, we have this two on the outside, so we have a vertical stretch of two. Then we have a negative inside of the function, so we're reflecting over the y-axis. And then we will move to the right three. Okay, the next problem, our parent function looks like it's going to be the cube root of x. And then our transformations. Um, inside we have that negative, so we are going to reflect over the y-axis. We are multiplying by the 5 on the inside, so we have here that's going to be a horizontal because it's on the inside, and it is going to be the opposite of what we think, so it will be a compression. And it's a compression by the reciprocal, which is 1 -fifth. And then we are going to go left 9, and then down 4. Okay, so for these next ones, we need to use the graph and identify the parent function, and then we need to write an equation for each of the um, descriptions. So for the first part here, our parent function looks like it's going to be x squared. And then notice here in part B, we want to translate this four units down and three units left. So if we do that, our new function, and make sure you title this f of x equals, we're going to have x plus 3, all squared, and then minus 4. Okay, part C wants us to have a vertical stretch, so that means this is going to be on the outside. Vertical happens on the outside, and it's exactly what you think, stretch of a factor of 2, so we're going to say 2 times and then this wants us to translate five units to the left so we're going to say x plus five all squared starting out with this one it looks like our parent function here should be um, the square root of x and then I'll notice we need to shift three units up and eight units to the right so our new function, f of x, is going to be the square root of, here are 8 units right, remember that's going to be x minus 8, the opposite of what we would think, because it's on the inside, and then 3 units up, we're going to add 3. Right, now notice the next one says horizontally compressed by a factor of 1 fourth. That one's kind of tricky because horizontally though this is going to happen on the inside of the function. So I'm going to make a square root. I know there's an x inside. Now horizontally compressed by a factor of one fourth. Horizontally that was the reciprocal so really we started out with a four here. And then if we're reflected over the y-axis we need to put a negative on the inside. So there's what that equation should look like. Okay, for this one, it looks like our parent function is the absolute value of x. So f of x is the absolute value of x. Now we need a horizontal stretch by a factor of 3. So just like the previous one, we are going to have to put that on the inside. And we have to look at that reciprocal 
So here, if I want to do a horizontal stretch of three, I need to put a one third on the inside of the function. And then it wants us to translate four units down, so we're going to subtract four. And then in part C, we're going to have that same function. But now I want a vertical stretch by a factor of three halves. So vertical is on the outside. I want this reflected over the x-axis, which is outside. And then translate eight units to the left. So that's going to be on the inside. So again, we have our absolute value of x. And let's see, we're translating eight units left. So I need to put a plus eight on the inside. Vertical stretch of three halves on the outside then. And then reflect over the x-axis means I need a negative there. So for this one, it looks like our parent function is x cubed. And then we need vertically compressed by a factor of one half. So I'm going to go ahead and start our f of x equals verticals on the outside. So I'm going to put one half on the outside. And let's see, I need to then y axis. So I guess we need to flip about the y axis. So I think there's a typo there, but I would think you need that negative on the inside. And we are translating four units right. So then I'm going to put x minus 4 to make sure we're going to the right 4. And then, of course, we have to remember to put our cube on the outside because that was the parent function. Part C, reflect in the x-axis and then translate seven units up. So f of x equals, we're going to reflect in the x-axis, so negative x cubed, and then up seven units, so plus seven. Number 15, we're given a function, and then we're told that they've done all kinds of crazy things with it. But keep in mind, this is our starting point here. So, if I do that and then try to plug in some of this other stuff, let's see what's going to happen. I need to horizontally stretch by a factor of 2. So, horizontally was on the inside. And if it was on the inside, we had the reciprocal. So, I know that there's going to be a 1 half on the inside times the 4x that's already sitting there. Then we need to reflect over the x-axis, which means that I need a negative on the outside. Now this already has a plus 1 here, but then I needed to translate it 3 more units up. So I'm going to take that 1 that was already there, that's part of the problem, and I need to translate it 3 units up. So here's our new stuff, and I'm going to go back and highlight that. Right here, that's my three units up. And then right here, that was our stretch, horizontal stretch of two. And then the negative, that was because we wanted it reflected over the x-axis. Now what we need to do is finalize our equation. So that should look like f of x equals negative square root of 2x and then plus 4. Okay, in this problem we're going the other direction, so we've got to figure out what the original function was, and they're giving us the transformation function. So I'm going to take that function that we're given, f of x equals negative 3 halves times x plus 4 all cubed minus 2. And well, let's take this apart. So a function was vertically stretched by a factor of 3. So that means on the outside I multiplied by a 3, which is what's going on right here. So that part needs to be removed. So getting us a little bit closer, then I know that was originally negative 1 half times x plus 4 all cubed minus 2. That took care of that. All right, I'm going to swap color so we can see the next one. Then it was translated 5 units down. 
so it was moved down five units so if I want to undo moving down five units I need to add five units so I'm going to add five units out here because again we're looking for the original so that function is now going to look like negative one half times x plus four all cubed and then plus three and then notice it says that we removed seven units left so I'm going to change colors again and I need to move seven units left so that's going to be on the inside and if we moved seven units left we've got to think about this for a minute I need to move that left so on the inside I probably want to put a minus seven on the inside to see what happens so let's see again we're just undoing so negative one half we have x plus four but I want to move it seven units left and I know that normally would mean positive but here we're undoing that so notice here we did seven or five units down but I added five so we're undoing that process so I'm going to put minus seven all cubed and then plus three and so let's see let's take our function we should now have our original function back so we're going to have negative one half times x minus three all cubed and then plus three and we can go back and check again we can go through the process and take this and say well if i do a vertical stretch by three i would multiply this by three and that would generate that part back and then translated down um, five units well if i subtract five out here that is going to give me my negative two and then if i wanted to go to the left seven i would have to add seven on the inside and that gave me my positive four so that one is really strange but you have to work backwards here to get that original function